what is going on, people inside of the internet machine. Welcome to episode 30. Uh, let's see, we didn't have anything doing, man. We didn't have a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. Um, I neglected to hit thrift stores this week, and I was too tired slash lazy to hit the uh, the yard sales. But we did get a uh, call back from As Do Assassin, and uh, he said, "Hey, man, I picked up some games at a flea market. Are you interested?" So we worked out a trade. Um, I hooked him up with three dollars cash and a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and uh, I picked up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. Really nice copy for the Game Boy. Uh, yeah, I we'll would definitely put that in a case and print out a cover for it. And then the second game that we picked up was uh, Top Gun Second Mission. Uh, it's got some ink there at the bottom. Did come with a dust cover. But uh, yeah, the label's in really good shape. Um, I don't obviously don't have this game. That's why I picked it up. But uh, yeah, the label's in good shape. The back's in good shape, so I think he, he got those at a flea market. I think the guy sold them to him for like a penny or something. Like it was something ridiculous. He also ended up picking up uh, you know, like Mario Party for the N64 um, for like a dollar. You know what I mean? Like he, he found some good stuff. So uh, thanks for trading with me, buddy. And then uh, I got home. I saw on Craigslist. Now Craigslist nowadays, you guys know how it is. You got to be like super quick. If you don't get it in that first two hours, it's already gone. Um Guy posted this lot at, uh, it was like 6 o'clock, and uh, I just happened to see it on there at like 6.35, so it only been posted for about a half hour. Uh, 15 bucks for this whole lot. First game was uh, the new Tetris for the N64. Did not have this game, but I do have the manual, so um, yeah, I, I mean, I like Tetris and everything, so we'll, we'll clean that up, add to the gold collection, and we'll, we'll give it a try. Uh, then there were three Super Nintendo games in there. Um, first one was Batman Forever. Now I already have this game. The label's a little rough. So, I think I want the other one. The, the, the Batman Returns. I think that one's like the beat-em-up. And then in that lot, uh, two copies of Donkey Kong Country. Now the first copy has uh, some major label damage right there. Um, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'll probably just throw it up for trade. Or if any of you guys want it, you know, if any of you guys want this copy. Um, it's Like I said, it's not in the greatest of shape. I paid 15 bucks for the whole lot, so I'm sure I could throw this up on uh, Craigslist for 10 bucks or something and have somebody pick it up real quick. Uh, let's see. And then uh, the other copy has a really nice label on it. It's still got that nice gloss on there. It is a little dirty. Like there's some sticker residue and then the back is horrible. But uh, all in all, like if you look along the seams of the label, the label's actually in really good shape. Um, I think I can get like maybe 15, 20 bucks out of that one. So, all right, that is, that's all we have so far. Um, we're definitely going to try and hit uh, thrift and, and yard sales this week. So cross your fingers, hold your breath, and wait till I get back. Um, so I stopped by a video game store in my area, Capital Games. I know I've talked about them. They're a little on the pricey side, like way pricey. But uh, they're typically going to have every single game that you want. Um, you know, I've seen them with Samson's in there before. Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. Uh, NW, NWC carts, Panic Restaurants, you know, all that stuff. Um, and I've been trying to hunt down a copy of this game. Now, I spent the most money that I've ever spent on a video game or video game related item um, ever. But I felt that I, I had to have this game. So, for $80 cash, so that's 80 bucks out the door. Um, tax title receipt picked up a nice copy. It needs to be clean, but it's a nice copy with the label of Battle Toads Double Dragon. Now again, the labels the labels really nice on this game. Um, definitely gonna play it, but uh, as you can see, it's just, it's just a little dirty all along the side. Now that'll come off. Um, picked up a uh, you know a dust cover for it, but uh, if you're new to the show. Uh, you know, I don't know, five episodes ago, whatever it was, I ended up getting a box of Nintendo boxes and manuals, and uh, one of them was Battletoads Double Dragon. So there's the box, the styrofoam's in there, you're just gonna have to believe me on that one. Okay. It's in there, you can see it. But, uh, yeah, this box is in really nice condition. It's a mint condition box, I would say. Um, you know, it looks great. 
and it also came uh, with with the manual that's also in uh, like mint mint condition and then also in there was the uh, the battle toads battle toads and battle maniacs poster so yeah I you know I ended up buying that lot I think I got it for like 30 bucks or whatever it was um, I ended up selling off that Nintendo and Contra so all these boxes and stuff ended up being extra free but here's the uh, the poster battle toads and battle maniacs if you're into battle toads that's pretty awesome and then uh, and then on the back is a uh, just kind of an advertisement poster of all the games so there's for Super Nintendo NES Game Boy another Game Boy game and oh, another Game Boy game and oh Battletoads so yeah definitely happy to have that um, recently there was a sale a complete copy of Battletoads Double Dragon. Now, I didn't know if it came with the poster or not. I just know it was a box, manual, and the game went for over 200, like 250 bucks. So I think it was a little over $250. So definitely an $80 investment. Um, I could probably throw that up right now and get max value for it because it's such in great, great condition. But all right, guys, just wanted to show that off, make it make it its own little segment. Uh, very happy to have it. Um, I'm not really having any buyer's remorse yet. I'm still kind of jacked up that I actually found a copy of it and got it. Um, for 80 bucks. I think, is reasonable. I think the game's starting to get up in the $90 range. But, uh, yeah, I feel, I feel good about it now. But, uh, I don't know. I spent pretty much like two-thirds of my video game fun. So, <laughs> so we'll have to sell some games and stuff and get that back up there so we can buy something else. But, like I said, it's definitely a good investment. So, all right. All right, guys, real quick, uh, before we run out and hit the thrift stores, a uh, friend of mine at work, he's always looking out for games uh, for me, and he picked these up at a Cashland Advance. Uh, they were $1.99 a piece, uh, so he, he picked me up a copy of Fable for the original Xbox. Um, now, I already have this game, so I don't know what we're going to do with it, but for 2 bucks, might as well pick it up. Be a good giveaway. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next game, I was actually kind of looking for, <clears throat> excuse me looking for this game narc uh on the on the original xbox that one is also complete and it came from humphrey's main street video to north main street jeffersonville ohio so we'll leave that on there but uh one of the cool things about this game is that um it comes with a unlockable version of the arcade narc you know from back in the 80s and just a fun fact here, this game was actually voiced by Michael Madsen and Bill Bellamy. So, it's top-notch quality right there. Alright guys, it's like really early in the morning. I wanted to get those on uh, on video so I could get all the data off my phone. We'll hit the thrift stores, we'll come back, uh, we'll see if we find anything today. So, I don't know, we'll see. All right, we're back from thrift, uh, thrift and retail, I should say, because every time I go out on thrift, you know, I hit like half price books and stuff like that. So, and then all the game stores that are along the way, uh, two ninety nine, picked this up at a thrift store that I'd never been to, um, Spider Man, for the GameCube, it's Player's Choice version. That's uh, complete. The manual's a little rough. Um, this isn't. A great game but it's not a bad game um, I've played this before I've had a copy of this before and uh, yeah I mean it's serviceable but yeah we'll upgrade if we get a chance to upgrade I uh, found a Game Boy Advance game actually kind of kind of excited to see this one for four dollars and ninety nine cents which is a little bit more than I want to play pay for Game Boy Advance games Donkey Kong Country 2 and the uh, the label is really awesome on it so Definitely happy to have that. Oh, side note, uh, I will get a Game Boy Advance printout for those, but we did print out the cover or the label for Metroid Fusion and uh, Ninja Turtles Battle Nexus. So, yeah, those look really cool in there. I get those off the coverproject.net, and uh, we'll do the same thing here with Donkey Kong Country 2 after we get that sticker off. 
Uh, so I walk into a uh, thrift store. I'm trying to think what I found there. Um, oh, those GameCube games that I got for a dollar fifty, like Smash Bros. Like in one of the first episodes, it was that same thrift store, and I could see like the game counter as I walked in the door, and I could see that they had games <laughs> on there. And as I got closer, I started looking around for sharks to make sure that I was actually going to be the first one there. And I walk up, and I don't see a sales associate person. So now I'm freaking out because if I leave, somebody else is going to come get it. So I just yelled at the lady at the register. I'm like, hey, can somebody come help me? I'll look at these games real quick. And the reason is there was a stack of Super Nintendo games. And that was the first game that I saw. So for 8 bucks, Super Mario Kart. Uh, it's a player's choice version. But, uh, yeah, again, really nice condition. Unfortunately, it wasn't blue sticker day, or else that would have been half off. But more than happy to pay $8 for Super Mario Kart. Um, and the rest were sports games, except for one more game. Picked up another copy of Donkey Kong Country, uh, you know, <laughs> for the Super Nintendo. Eight bucks. That's a good, pr it's a good price for that, because this game is about $17. It's starting to get to that $20 range. Um, at retail, so hopefully we can flip those. I did make a big purchase at Buybacks. You guys saw it in the uh, the video there. It was a little fuzzy. I don't I don't know why. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if it was uh, you know the sun coming in off the glass or whatever. But they had a copy of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi Cheese Three for you know seventy three ninety nine. I'm not I'm not paying that. It's an, you know it's not a very common game and it's an awesome game because it's got like one hundred and fifty characters. But, right next to it, they did have another copy of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi Chi 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 3 for $37.99. So they obviously mispriced it. And this one actually includes, you know, there's the manual and everything. But it also includes a bonus disc of, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z Best Fights. So, again, yeah, I mean, you, 40 bucks for $70, $75 game. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to try and flip it. But basically what happened was out of the old box of SNES that we had a couple episodes ago, I had Mario Kart and I had Mario World. So I went ahead and, and sold those for 40 bucks. So then I uh, you know, also sold the GameCube and Metroid Prime for 40 bucks, and then Smash Brothers for 40 bucks. So um, I made 120 bucks off those two lots, and I got to keep the rest of all of those games for free. So, you know, I spent a little bit of that money, I guess, um, 40 bucks to buy this game. So, yeah, I, I don't know. So, because I don't know if I want to do with that. I'm not really a big Dragon Ball Z guy. But, uh, all right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Let me grab the... Uh, the list of new subscribers and there are a ton of them um, as, as as you're seeing this video right now I'm filming this like uh, three or four days after uh, my hundred subscriber contest and what happened was about two or three days before that Jeff Mack and Z posted a video where he really you know threw my name out there promoted me thanks brother I appreciate it and we got a ton of subscribers man we we went from like you know 87 subscribers all the way up to like hundred and twenty subscribers you know within like a, a week or so so let's just get to it real quick you guys know how how we do this uh the first set guys thank you so much for subscribing they don't necessarily have youtube channels and if i screwed that up leave a comment in the comment section below and correct me and promote your own channel that's fine all right so the first one halo stop uh bonehead jack hoying i hope i said that right brian byerly dinglet 123t dr patsy pasty patsy smasher pasty smasher Matthew Gervasio, Ivan Mon, Mondawano, Ivan M, you know who you are, brother. Reyes Palomino, uh, Nam Namluk, Nerf Kid and Retro Kid, uh, Demon322. Now, on Demon322's channel, it says that, like, in his About section, it says he's into, uh, like, collecting retro and video games and stuff like that. So, come on, man, post a pickup video or two. We got, I'm always curious. Uh... Mike Mike Labs, Lobs, uh, Retro Phaeax, P H A E A X, and Ray Knight. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing. And the uh, next set here, these guys all have channels and they all have 
you know, uh, video game related stuff or videos posted. Uh, first one is Young Rich, and I'm not going to say the N word, but uh, he does like rap music videos. Hasn't posted anything for a while. Um, but if you're into like hip hop and rap and stuff like that, check it out. Uh, Super Figure Toys, exactly what it says. Uh, he does like figures, collectibles. He has this really cool like Bruce Lee figure um, video, and then Mario Kart Arcade. So um, it's in a different language. It's like in, I'm going to say Spanish is what it sounds like. I could be wrong, but uh, definitely a cool channel. Check that out. Uh, next one, Deval the Gamer. Deval the Gamer does pickup videos. He does a really cool series called Quest for NES slash SNES. So apparently he's going for all the NES and SNES games. Good luck with that, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then he does like giveaways and for sales and trades and things like that. Uh, Power Player Paul does pickup videos, uh, collection videos. And if you're into like Loot Crate, if you don't know what Loot Crate is, it's a mail-away service every month or so. You pay a subscription, and they send you a box of, like, random things. So if you're into that kind of stuff, it's like, like a treasure box. Check out uh, Pro Player Paul. Uh, Tony Leone, I hope I said that right. Uh, he does, like, guitar. He's, I think he's a young kid. Uh, so he does music. He does a Mario cover and does, like, drawings and things like that. Uh, the Game Hunters. Very cool channel. Check out the Game Hunters out in the Oregon area. Um, and they do, uh, pickup videos and they do collection videos and, uh, what they're starting to do, like their pickup videos are like real quick. They're like quick hitter pickup videos. So they only take like a minute or a minute and a half or something to do like all the week's pickups. They don't ramble on like I do. <laughs> so definitely check out, uh, the game hunters, uh, game by night reviews. Just, just that does uh, video game reviews. Um, and he also has, let me see, uh, rants. So if you're into rant videos and things like that, I think he's got a one on GameStop that was kind of entertaining. Um, Retro88 does, uh, random videos, um, that are usually like less than a minute long. So if you're into kind of like random life videos, check that out. Uh, Mark Liotta, Liotta does video game reviews and, uh, Let's Plays. He does Let's Plays on, like everybody does Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden, and, you know, the Ghosts and Goblins and whatever. But he does his, his Let's Plays on games that you would, like, never play, I guess. Like, uh, you know, Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune. Things like that. So, definitely uh, pretty interesting. Check that out. Uh, Cuban Crusher. Cuban Crusher definitely has, like, miscellaneous videos. Things like that as well. Uh, XX, the Game Collector XX, does uh, dumpster dive videos and pickup videos. So, if you're into that, check that out. And the last one here, Ultra Fire X Forever does, uh, like, first plays. I think he does, like computer stuff like steam or whatever i don't i don't really know anything about that but if you're into like those kind of things check that out guys here is my list of subscribers for this episode again i want to thank you guys i know by the time you're seeing this it's going to be late it's it'll probably be at way after the giveaway but uh thank you guys so much um for subscribing and commenting things like that jeff mac and z shout out again thank you so much for promoting the channel and uh look forward to hearing from you guys that's it for this week um, I don't know, not really into like questions of the week, but what was your big find of the week? See ya.